What is good? How are y'all today? I'm good. Thanks for asking. So today, I'm going to be showing y'all how to tie on... Too close. How to tie on a tarry bait. I remember when I just started fishing, I went on YouTube and I looked up how to tie on a chatterbait. Because when I show you this chatterbait, if you're new to fishing and you just buy a chatterbait and you just look at it, it's the most confusing thing ever. So I'm going to show y'all how to tie on a chatterbait because when I was little I went on YouTube and I looked on the video or I searched for a video how to tie on a chatterbait. And there was nothing. So I'm going to do it. So just in case there's some little junior JTs running around out there. Don't know how to tie on a tire bait. They can watch this video and learn. So what you're going to need is your tire bait. Some line. And I'm actually going to show you which trailers I use on it. Just because. So this is a Z-Man tire bait. Z-Man Chatterbait, just look at this thing. Just look at it. It's confusing, okay? Especially for me. When I was little, it was, okay? So, when you look at this thing, you see this blade on it. You see this yellow head. This big old hook. How, how do you tie it on? Well, you're going to need your Chatterbait. You're going to take it. You're going to move the skirt out of the way. And on this blade, there's this little swivel right here. That little swivel has that little hole on it. That's where you're going to put your line through and tie your, tie your knot onto. So what you're going to do, you're going to take your line. And if you, can, if you can see this blade, it has that little bit of a curve to it. That's going to be the top of your blade. So I like to... Just remember to run your line down that that little slope of the blade. So you're going to run it straight through that, that hole. And just put it on your line. So now it looks like that. Your line's through the hole and nothing else. And now you're just going to tie on your knot. Doesn't matter what knot you tie on. I'm going to do a fisherman's knot. That's what I do. That's a knot I like. Well, there's many of them out there. You can do a polymer knot. You can do anything. Alright. So, now that you got your knot tied, your chair base tied on, you can cut the tag end off. Boom. Cut the tag in, and now it's going to look like that. And now, to put on your trailer, I have Strike King Rage Swimmers, 3.75 inch, little paddle tail swim. You're going to take one of these bad boys. There it is. And if you can look at it, if you can see it, there's that little bit of like a silver grayish glittery top to it and it's got a white bottom you're gonna take your chatterbait and you're gonna move the skirt completely out of the way you don't want none of the skirt getting into it move the skirt out of the way and if you can see that little lip right there that's to hold your bait onto the hook it's just a it's just a jig like a little jig lip because that's what a chatterbait is it's just a bladed jig so you're gonna move the skirt out of the way and then you're going to take the top of your paddle tail, which my top is the glittery silver side, and you're going to point it away from your hook. So if you have your hook like this, you're going to point the glittery part, silver part, the top of it away from your hook. And then you're going to go straight through the top of this paddle tail and go in probably about an inch. And then you're going to pull it through the bottom of the paddle tail. And then 
you're just going to push that paddle tail all the way up. See how I'm, I'm at the lip now? You're going to want to push it over that lip and all the way up to the skirt. So now I'm over the lip and to the skirt. That lip's going to help your bait stay on no matter how many fish you catch. And there you go. That's how you tie on and rig a chatterbait. Now you can go out there and catch some donkeys. Thanks for watching. I'm out.